My career journey is uh, possibly a wee bit different, a wee bit more varied. Um, I started off when I left school working in retail. I worked in retail for about five years um, and then I realised that uh, something different uh, would be more suited to, to myself. I always had a, an interest uh, in engineering and practical subjects, um, particularly at school and then after school I always enjoyed you know, tinkering with bikes and cars and I thought there must be a career somewhere in this for me and where can I go from here? Well, my dad and my brother are both engineers so that's probably what inspired me but I started, um, I did physics and maths in high school um, and that, I was really good at them so it was kind of the obvious career choice to go to. Um, I didn't quite get the results to go straight into university of my choice anyway so I went to college for two years and did a HND in mechanical engineering and then I applied for uni and got into for third year. So then I did my third year and got my bachelor's um, in mechanical engineering at West of Scotland University. And then I couldn't get a job because it's just, you don't get any experience in university. So then I just decided that the apprenticeship would be the best option to get the experience and it helped with end up getting trade papers at the end and having a degree, so come out on the best. I've always started with when I was in school, kind of getting sort of influenced by different teachers doing what path I wanted to go on. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to be university, college or kind of just going straight into work. And because I wanted that extra learning, I decided to venture as a apprenticeship because I was going to also get paid while being in an industry, but also getting that kind of that experience and then also learning and getting the qualifications I wanted to. So that's how I kind of got into it. And it was a case of teachers were kind of like helping me sort of look at different companies and stuff like that, same with our family. I was inspired because I always like loved engineering and stuff like that in school and it just made my brain work. And then so I applied for uni and I did mechanical engineering at uni. But then I saw Rolls Royce advertised online and I get all quite interested in learning as you're going and stuff like that. So I applied. Yeah. <laughs> I was interested in aeroplanes from a young age. I used to go to Lookers up to the air show when the air show was there with my, with my grandpa and my uncles and stuff. I up and watched that. I got really interested in planes specifically. I moved on to cars, I liked tinkering with cars and things. Um, and then there's always a big trip to like the Transport Museum. I loved going as a kid. And from there it just progressed into wanting to know how these things work, how they're made, um, and just got interested that way. So it's a three year apprenticeship. The first year is spent uh, solely at college, so you're in a five day week at college. Uh, that's you working towards your NC in manufacturing. Uh, the next two years you complete a day release HNC, so one day a week travel to college, the other four days or five days, depending on your shift pattern, is spent in the factory. Uh, it's split into three month segments. It's been a bit different because of the pandemic. It's kind of changed things, but normally it would run on a three month placement and you would move around the factory to learn the different aspects that you need to complete your logbook. Uh, and then in the kind of final six to three months, you're put into your business placement where the business needs you to go and you learn that kind of specific job. So it involves me um, learning when I'm at work, but also having day release one day a week, going to Strathclyde Uni and doing part of my, part of my degree there and part of my degree within work. It's really good, yeah, it's really enjoyable. I started at college for the first year, and then now I'm on day release, I'm in college one day, and then I'm in the factory for four days, but I'm going to placement, so I see all the different parts of the factory, Things. Really then you've got a logbook as well that you need to complete, which is within the factory where your lecturer will come in and observe you to make sure that you're learning and taking on and learning the skills. In engineering, your STEM subjects are, are important. Um, a lot of problem solving goes on, so things like maths, uh, technology, graphics. These are important subjects and um, they help with your, your problem solving and your general understanding. But communication is also very important. So your subjects such as English, uh, very important. So a general all-round uh, 
is, is important. Um, I did all three sciences, so like they kind of helped cross over with like chemistry wise, but physics and maths were the main two I would say that helped me get here. I, I would say that graphics and design man manufacturing are probably the most relatable as you work with the technical drawings and you learn, learn manufacturing processes through design and manufacture, so that applies largely in here. Physics, um, physics definitely. Um, physics, maths and technical studies, um, either graphic home or, or hands-on. Um, I think I always thrive more with hands-on practical um, and it was a journey for me to try and convert the hands-on practical into actually what's going on in my brain to understand this. Um, but that was something I actually, but once I found that passion, um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Getting paid and the fact that I'm getting a degree at the same time. It was the chance of like learning on the job, being trained, as well as earning a degree out of it as well, which is not something you see on a day, on a common basis. It's a one-off opportunity, and yeah. I'd highly recommend it to anyone that's thinking about it, to be honest. It was the appeal of being able to go to college and, and gain formal qualifications, but at the same time, um, getting practical on the, on the job experience um, from people who had been doing the job for a long time as well and getting that experience first hand. Um, also, it's, it's worth saying, because um, it will factor into everybody, you get paid to, you get paid to go and learn. Um, you don't come out of university, and that's not to knock university, um, but you don't come out of, you don't come out of your learning with a, with a day. I wanted to know more about it and how it worked and stuff like that. It surprised me how achievable it is if you put your mind to it. Uh, I actually didn't apply for the apprenticeship until I was older, um, as opposed to just going for it straight out of school, because I thought, oh, I'm, I don't know, I might not be smart enough to do that, or uh, I might not have the good grades or that in school. But it's something that if you put a lot of work into it and you just go and put your mind to it and work hard, uh, you can achieve it. And, I'm proud of that because I've, I've done well so far in the apprenticeship and I'm on course to, to get my, my qualifications. So.